Hello and welcome back to Let's Play The Darkest Dungeon Today, an adventure into the cove I think, to acquire a sniper's ring All we have to do is activate three protective wards Which I don't think we have done before, anyways We're gonna bring a leper, as well as a grave robber, a vestal and a plague doctor We haven't seen a plague doctor in a while I am giving him an extremely high chance to stun, about um, 70% plus a normal base of 120, so that's about 190% base stun chance, so that's very nice. Uh, furthermore, what other trinkets have we equipped? We have given the Vestal increased health, as well as uh, an ability that reduces the health again slightly, but increases her healing skills. Then we have our Grave Robber, who deals additional damage and has increased dodge and accuracy for her ranged abilities, although she only has one ranged ability equipped at the moment. And then we have the Leper, who deals increased damage when in rank 1, um, and has increased accuracy and crit chance. Albeit at the cost of a few minor things, but nothing really to worry about it. So let's get into this. It's gonna be a regular run, so no torches run, I mean. Although those are quite lucrative, but no, not this time. Three shovels, I think. Um, Anti-venom, let's bring one of those. We're gonna bring five bandages, two medicinal herbs, a key, a holy water... And a bunch of torches. So that will do. It's been a long time since we went into the cove. A really long time. But we should be fine, I think. Um, I was thinking about a route, but it's not really that obvious what we... Uh, we're basically gonna have to go everywhere until we have found the three wards that we need to activate. Um, let's begin with a pick to the face, even though stunning could also be good. Yeah, let's do stun actually. Right, she can do... Oh, we failed to stun? Oh, that's too bad. Oh well. Nothing's lost. Maybe a hue can kill the first one and deal damage to the second. Or do no damage at all. Uh, let's stun the back row. That should definitely stun them. The music in the cove is kind of like the music from Ca Pirates of the Caribbean. I love it. Um, let's use pick to the face because if we use a lunge to move forward again, our, the leper will move to the second position where he will deal less damage. So that is not preferable as is missing our opponents. Things are not going great, honestly. Stun them again. Their uh, stun resistance is not that great, even though they have uh, increased stun resistance from the buff from just being stunned. Okay, that was kind of what I was trying to do last time. But this time it worked. It may become time to start healing a bit. So let's do a lunge. It's nice damage. It's too bad that we have no elegant way of moving our leper. Oh, well, actually, in our next turn, the Grave Robber can Shadow Fade backwards again. So that, that could be a tactic. Um, Noxious Blast. No, not Noxious Blast. Plague Grenade. That is likely to kill this one. Not the, the one in the back, but will probably be fine. Heal yourself first. Uh, can you purge? You cannot purge. I did not give you the ability to purge. That is a shame, but anyways. You can still kill corpses somehow. Bye-bye. Uh, I guess Noxious Blast here. He'll die on his own now, so we don't really have to worry about him. In other words, we should probably focus on doing some healing. If we can. We can. Very nice. The slow 
Okay, eat a bit of, eat a bit of food. Um, I don't really need these at the moment, so no, thank you. Actually, let let let's eat some more food. We we can spare it at the moment. Torch and the first the room. Of safety. A surprise on their side, which is of course exactly the way we want it. Oh, that's one hit point short from a kill. That's so irritating. Blinding gas, please. Prevent those guys from even taking a turn this round. And judgment on him. As the fiend falls, yeah. Faint hope blossoms. That attack alone would have been uh, capable of killing that particular opponent, but oh, oh well. That's the way things happen, I guess. Alright, next round, who gets the first action? He does, okay. His speed is indeed quite high. 18 damage! OMG! Um, I don't like that. What is that to do? Um, I'm kind of confused by that song attack. Uh, now, um, yeah. Hmm. Noxious Blast then, I suppose, against uh, whatever, the Bulwark, I think, yes. Uh, we can also stun him, but we want to heal with our Vestal, so we will not do that. Uh, let's attack him, because our Shaman is protected by the Bulwark, which is too high a protection to really do anything about, and we wanted to heal. Only 6. We should get a 33% boost, but I don't really see that being reflected. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Bleed? A bleed. He can deal with that. But we will bandage it up. Because that's why we brought bandages. Okay, see if we can kill that dude. Uh, but we want to use a Noxious Blast against the Bulwark just to keep damaging him over time. Uh, his bleed is not too bad, but I'll still use it. I uh, use the bandage, I mean. Um, more protection could be good, but then he will no longer be attacked. It's too bad that this ability doesn't also mark him. That would be excellent. But, you know, it's unfortunate. Um, you know what? I'll use it regardless. See if he gets attacked. Yeah, no, he doesn't. Ow! No, a death's door, but it's it might as well be. Okay, we really need to kill this dude first. Um, uh, let's cure that bli uh, that bleed on him, on her, I mean. Okay, and stun. No, we want to heal her up. So let's kill that one. I don't know if one person remaining really counts as a formation narrator, but. All right. Oh, come on! Cannot be left unanswered. Above all, don't put me in the ground. Yeah, well, in this particular location, it's probably more efficient to throw you in the sea or something. It's probably his, uh, yeah, it's his increased crit chance, increased accuracy, and increased damage from that buff that he received. Can we do anything about that? Not really. Again, then. Oh, too bad. I hope she survives. If she doesn't... Okay, she'll survive. Even if it's only two hit points, getting her off death's door will save her for at least one more round. Alright, more healing for her. Excellent. Now he gets a turn, and he attacks... Ah, the, uh, the leper this time. Who is bleeding, but he has the health to deal with that. Although, if I don't have to deal with that, that would be even nicer. All counting on the fact that we will get a turn before the Bulwark does. And we do. Excellent. Destroyed. 
Okay, um... We cannot interact with the chest yet, which is a shame. Let's eat some more food. Alright, interact, use a key. Hidden compartment. All stuff that we can't really take. Huh. Hmm. Let's dump the anti-venom and take the onyx, I think. Yes. Alright. Let's go down, just in case that one of the wards is there. Oh, I think we may have done the protective wards thing. Yes, I seem to recall an episode in which we actually dealt with some wards. But anyway. I uh, cannot use poison darts, for darts from that position. That is unfortunate. Pick to the face, not gonna work. Maybe we can stun him before he stuns us. It resisted. Um, stun in the back row. That was not a stun. Regardless. Things are not going exactly as I planned them, but yeah. Uh, yeah, that wasn't a stun. Right, right, right. I was like, why are they getting a turn? But <laughs> Things didn't work out exactly as I had them in my head. Okay, it'll die next turn automatically. She dodges that stress attack, which is awesome. Let's do you um, a plague grenade. No, not a plague grenade. A noxious blast on the maggots. The maggot will die on its own then. Spear fishing could be bad. It is. We need to do more stuff again. Uh, let's do this. Um, you may as well attack the maggot. Even though that doesn't do anything. Ooh. Well, that, that's nice. That's, that's, that worked out. A lot better than it than I imagined. I kind of wanted to lunch with her, but if I lunch with the grave robber, then she also gets is more likely to get attacked. So I, I wasn't really keen on doing that. Uh, don't really need to do anything else here, I don't think. He'll not uh, he'll not quite die yet. So let's do this. Now all of them will die. Uh, she'll do another one of those. And the grave robber will, if she gets a chance, she will leap forward against the corpse. Because we don't want the combat to be over just yet. You will do a whatever it is to reduce your stress. And then that one gets a turn and dies. Oh crap. Oh well. I didn't actually count all of the turns and everything, but... Uh, okay. Um, I want you to go there. Yeah, that's fine. And then, hmm, Bleedstone, I don't really want. I don't wanna really want to drop anything either, so I guess no, thank you. Dear Lord, a lot of uh, hallway battles in this dungeon. Oh, please don't. <sighs> well, what is the trait that causes that? Sitziomania. Hmm, yeah. Sissiomania, or whatever you want to pronounce it. Hmm, this is one of the wards, so that's good. It's a good thing that we went here. Uh, then, I guess. Um, let them, let's stun you. Resisted it. Ah, eh, bollocks. Arterial pinch, which is a nasty bleed, if I recall. Eight damage. That was one attack, which does eight damage per turn. Dear Lord. Okay then. You need to go down, buddy. Um, you can't really do anything, so I guess you will do that. Our Plague Doctor will throw a stun in the back row. And I guess we want to apply bleed to the uh, front unit now. Noxious Blast, that would be. Uh, melee damage, I guess. Why not? And you, poisonous darts. So, he will die relatively quickly now, but... Uh, 
such an extreme bleed. Call of the Deep. That's a buff that increases his damage, I think, and his accuracy and his crit. Well, his crit is the most dangerous thing. His accuracy is not that great either, of course, but it's mostly the crit thing that I'm worried about. Anyway, uh, more Blight, I think. 12 he will now receive, so... Well, the Leper cannot really do anything else anyway, so we may as well chop away. Mm, will not die quite yet. Let's apply another Blight. 16, that should be enough. So, she will now move back one. Size alone does not the blade. Goodbye. Damn, that's so much stress. This, is, this isn't even the darkness run, but it's easy to mistake one for the other. Um, light. Doesn't really matter, I want to get rid of that stress attacker. Okay, we dodged something. Excellent. They dodged something. That's not so excellent. Anyways, let's heal, ga heal people up. The leper should receive additional heal. No, he may not, actually. It's quite possible that I... No, I did not equip that trinket. There's a leper trinket that increases the heal on lepers. Which is quite nice, but I didn't use it. So, there you go. Almost a kill, but obviously not quite yet. That will do it though, if the Blight lands. And it does. Um, group heal or targeted heal? I think a targeted heal is warranted. Oh wow, very nice. Um, may as well, reduce the little bit of stress that we had left. Stun, sure, why not. little bit more health for the grave robber even though it's very minimal can barely take any of that stuff momentum push on to the tasks end okay what are we gonna we're definitely not gonna drop the bandages we are gonna use a, a pineal gland which we apparently need and uh, but that is we can only do that after we have dropped stuff so I c okay i kind of want to keep everything except for the holy water the holy water is really low priority for me so and i'm gonna take the gold because i think a one stack of gold is worth more than the bloody dice for the jester Okay, you move back one before I forget, and then we activate the ward. And then we return to the main part of the dungeon. Okay, no scout unfortunately. I think we're gonna go up, and then we'll see where we need to go at next. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna risk it. Okay. I think you can get a bleed from that or something. I'm gonna take the shovel, obviously, and I may as well take that. Although I think I may dump that. I'll continue that thought later. Ah, more stress attacks. I hate that. Stop it. Uh, that's not quite enough. Why is it always one hit point short? Why do you deal enough damage that I... Uh, never mind. Never mind. Murphy's Law, huh? Everything that can go wrong will go wrong. A hue or a chop? Will a chop kill? It may. Okay. Okay then. And Noxious Blast on you. There you go. Have fun with it. 15 damage. Is that enough to kill? It is indeed. Very, very nice. This expedition at least promises success. Do I want that? No. Okay. Torch. I suppose I could camp to reduce that stress, but... I'm kind of hoping for some kind of an altar or anything like that, that uh, 
That helps me with this. This may be a room with another ward. Of course it may not be. Could be a room with a battle. Okay, how about that? I was right. Excellent. I wish that relieved stress. It would relieve my stress if I were in uh, in their shoes and walking through this dungeon and complete one more step of our objective. But anyways, uh, I guess we're going to go down and then... I, th I think those wards only occur in rooms. That, that, that's going to be my assumption. Because otherwise we have to complete a no thank you, no Shambler fight today. Because otherwise we're gonna have to explore a whole lot more uh, corridors. Um, what is that gonna do? Does any one of us even have room for a positive quirk? Because I, I think that's what it does. But I'm not completely sure about that. She has pretty nice quirks. C does as well, and he does as well. So I think I'll do it with the Plague Doctor. Bollocks. Damnation, what is that? It didn't show me. Known cheat, blah blah blah. Thanatophobia, slow draw. I don't see anything bad having happened. So, few, I guess. Oh, um... I almost walked right into that. And we're gonna go via the, the treasure room. Oh good, another scout. Okay, empty. I really hope that we will we are not missing a, a ward in a hallway, but I guess we can backtrack. Stashed heirlooms. Which we can carry for now. We have Kind of a lot of portraits at home, I think. Anyway. These guys again. Well, not these exact guys, but... Never mind. Um, kill. Excellent. That also reduces a little bit of stress, which is, of course, exactly what we needed. Uh, cannot really reach him. I will buff him up. I will... N I don't think that I will use revenge, though. But anyway, um... How much health remains? 11. I think it's better to stun. We're in a good position to deal with arterial punches. I think. Yeah, we still are. Maybe I should start taking items that... Um... Increase bleed resistance into the cove because this stuff keeps happening. But anyway, um, maybe get a stun on him. That could be nice. She doesn't really need to heal quite yet, so I guess I will do that. Resisted the stun. That is a shame. Uh, what can we do? We can stun her again or him again, whatever it is. Or we can blight the crusher. Hmm. I think we should blight him. Yeah. Get that damage going. And she can attack him, I guess. Oh yeah. Okay, moving backwards, trying to stun this dude with the uh, with the grape robber was not a good idea. Because that kind of removed our only way to be able to reach the Shaman, who is now buffing up the Crusher. Which is not a good thing. Um, but we can now do this, which is not going to kill him in one turn, unfortunately. Yay. Not even in two turns. Yay. Uh, Blade Grenade. I didn't think of that one. So now he'll die, so that's good. A little bit more damage against the Crusher, as well from the Leper who crits, which is excellent. Almost there. Material Pinch, please dodge. Ah, too bad. She really needs a heal now, and I hope that the Plague Doctor gets a turn before she does, so that she can use med uh, whatever it is, the uh, Battlefield Medicine. Okay, more Blight, please. 
Her health will be fine as long as the drop doesn't drop any further. She will move back. I don't know if that's a wise choice, but if I get the opportunity, I kind of want to heal. Oh, that was that was already sufficient damage. Okay then. Uh, let's stack up those two. We're gonna take the emeralds, and then we have crest swell. A stack of twelve, I think, will suffice. Let's take a look in here. More goodies, even more portraits. Damn. Um, I already have six, so. Huh. That's a toughie. I'm gonna drop them. Get some food. Another scout. Okay, that could be a room with a ward. Uh, this thing, I'm pretty sure, removes a bad quirk. So what do we want to remove? Uh, Sissiomania would be amazing if we removed that. So let's use the Grave Rubber. Scattering Quirk, which is reduced range abilities, which I don't really care about because... I mean, it's only about the accuracy, and her accuracy is pretty good as it is, since she only has one range ability that she uses at the moment anyway, so... Like I said, not really that important to me. And there is this trap, which once again reduces stress on our grave robber. Another torch, please. A uh, key, which we cannot take. I guess I will drop the medicinal herbs. I was hoping for a few more medicinal herbs. But so be it. Please let us be the ward. Yes, okay. That also frees up another inventory slot, which kind of means that it is now safe to push on a little bit further. So let's go this way, I guess. Torch. Fine, we have plenty of food remaining as well, so no problems there. This room is empty. Do we get a scout? We do not. That would have been nice, but... You can't have it all. Ugh. How bad is it? Fine, let's bandage it up. Hopefully we will not be in the any urgent need. Star is born. Hopefully we will not be needing that, but this is not a good Today, surprise. Reeling, about to a bleed. Wow. Okay. This is kind of bad. Obviously we don't quite get the kill. Because why would the game give me a uh, good start there? But anyways, that will do it. See what slash? Ouch! Could you not do that? Let's use a bandage there because that's horrible bleed. Could have used the battlefield medicine, I suppose, but that wouldn't allow me to do, for example, hmm, this. Not that that is really useful, any actually, but... I mean, we can kind of one or two shot these guys, so the Blight isn't really helping us that much anyway. Alright, that ought to kill that, that annoying little creature. I was about to uh, use words that were a lot less nice there, but... I managed to control myself. Okay, you move forward, even though, you know, it doesn't really matter anymore anyway. Okay, take the stuff. A trifling victory. Oh, that's not what I meant but to do. Victory nonetheless. You move there, and then we will eat food. Actually, we may... Yeah, we will we'll eat... No, we will not. We will go in this room, camp, and then see what we do next. Okay, empty. That's kind of what I suspected. Feast. Settle in the dark. The battle may yet be won. Okay. Uh, he can reduce his own stress, but not the stress of others. He can heal himself, but not others. Increased scouting chance, which we don't really need anymore. They all have stress reductions up until now. All companions reduce stress, but not herself. Uh, Self-medicate. 50% chance of removing a disease. He does not have a disease. 
The cure, remove target disease from one companion. I don't think that any of them has a disease. Indeed they don't, so that's not really useful. So let's start with some stress relief on the Vestal. There we are. Um, then we... Hmm. Pray? No, no, no. It's all not that useful actually. Let's do that one. How much have we have left? Do we have left four? What to do, what to do, what to do. Pray could be good. Yeah, let's pray. Let us pray. Eh, it wasn't amazing, but fine, fine. Click through that, and do we get ambushed? May we find victory. No, we do not. Okay then. If I get a hunger event, I will push on for like one more room and then I'll get out of here, but... Uh, I kinda wanna do this last room battle, I think. If I can. I mean, all the loot is of use to us in this stage of the game. And we still have plenty of, well, shovels, for example, and torches. Even though the torchlight apparently after a campfire goes down... Oh no, wait, I think if you walk through a corridor that you've already explored, that torchlight doesn't go down as quickly. I think that's why our torchlight is still so high. But I'll the increase it now. Lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. Hungry event. Okay, we can deal with that. Let's do this battle. As the light gains purchase. Spirits are lifted. And purpose is made clear. These guys again. Ooh, that's not good. They buff each other. That's definitely not good. Stress. Uh, that's not very nice, but okay. What does that buff do? Uh, we know already. We know that already. Um, if we crit, we may kill. We could also do divine comfort, which I like. But I think I will, I will try to kill those guys as quickly as I can. I'll also stun them if uh, when the plague doc doctor gets a turn. Although that may no longer be my preferred option now. Yeah, I think I'd, I'll do a noxious blast instead on the crusher. Try to do that a little bit earlier, perhaps prevent a little bit of uh, bleed damage. We don't have any bandages left, I don't think. No, we don't. Fortunately, our Plague Doctor can deal with that if need be. Um, but it is pretty bad. So kind of leaves me with very few options to get rid of that final Oracle. And he may actually start healing up the, uh, the Crusher. Uh, but he doesn't, he just gives him a buff that makes him even more dangerous. Hmm. Cured the bleed, which is of course awesome. Um, I don't really want to cure anyone with the Vestal. But the Vestal can do her ranged attack from there. So I think I'll just use... I think I'll just use this attack against the corpse. Get rid of it. Move him a little bit closer, which allows me to... Uh, which makes it much more easy... Much easier for me, damn it, words, to get rid of the Oracle. I hope. The end approaches. Yeah, maybe. Uh, we could do with a protection on that guy, but... I think he'll be fine. We have two healers, or two people who can increase his health, that is to say. So, if he gets a death store, we should be in a good position to get him off it. Um, now, another uh, noxious best. Yes, definitely. Definitely. You can kill that one. Bye bye. And chopping away again. Excellent. Retaliate against that earlier strike. Heal him back up. Seven. That's pretty decent. I would expect more with the trinket that she has equipped, but it could be that that is a result of the uh, early access version of this game. It could also be because I am missing something, or maybe it's just bad luck. Who knows? 
Alright, that, that unit will die. Oh, he was already dead. Okay then. Now, let's take a peek into this corridor. Hopefully it is loot. It is indeed. Although, it is not a lot of loot. Definitely. Take a look here. Heirlooms. Heirlooms. Yeah, well, I s that might have been worth it. I don't know. Let's get out of here. I don't know why I used that torch. By the way, <laughs> that was a little silly. Um, anyway. Gold is... Meh. Uh, 13,000 gold, almost. And... A lot of crests. We believe that. We don't have to count those piece by piece. Scurvy. Hmm, interesting. Haven't seen that disease bef before, I don't think. Uh, also, tapeworm. We have seen that one, and we do want to get rid of that. Thick blood that replaces deadly, which I don't really mind. I believe deadly is plus one percent extra crit chance, which is not really useful for a plague doctor, in my opinion. Necromania. Fascinated with corpses. I want to get rid of, but all in all, this is not too bad. Let me share with you the terrible wonders I have come to know. All right, we're back in town, and what did we want to remove? We wanted to remove scurvy. Fortunately, that is quite cheap, the removal of a disease. Uh, she will be fine. She didn't... Who, who else? She did have a disease? Tapeworm, yeah, that's a bad one. I don't like uh, having to take into account that one of our party members consumes extra food. I'm gonna get rid of that, definitely. Uh, there's some holy sky. Necromania. Yeah, I really don't like that one. Actually, do I need to unequip all of the trinkets before I do this stuff? I hope that I do not have to do that. Uh, yeah, that still works. Okay, that's excellent. Um, what was I saying? I was saying that I wanted to remove necromania. Or doesn't it become... It doesn't become a permanent quirk in the near future. So... It kind of depends on what I'm going to do next time, I guess, whether I will cure her now. And you, you have claustrophobia, which is fine, and the rest is too expensive for me to remove at this point anyway. I could afford it, but it would be quite expensive. Okay, then let's take a sneak peek. And one of the things that I've been thinking is that I kind of need to make use of my level 4 characters in order to... Um, I kind of need to take down the, the level, uh, the, the veteran level bosses before they all level up and don't want to go into veteran level dungeons anymore. So I kind of have to uh, go for either the alluring siren next time or the fulminating prophet. And I think honestly that the best choice there would be the siren. Because even though we still have a lot of crests, I kind of need a lot of them. In fact, can we upgrade something now? No, we need more deeds, in fact. Does maybe the Fulminating Prophet give me deeds? No, he doesn't. So that doesn't really help us. Um, what else? What else can we upgrade then? The Stagecoach, of course. We have the Survivalist who requires crests. We have the Nomad Wagon who requires crests. Sanitarium, we still need a lot more busts before we can fully upgrade that one. But we don't really need that. The Abbey would, or could also be nice. Increases stress recovery, increases number of cells, increases number of cells. I might as well do that, I suppose, but I will do that off camera if I need to. No, this is all kind of looking fine. I just, I just want more heirlooms so that I can invest in our town situation a little bit more comfortably. But anyways, uh, this is the end of the episode. Thank you very much for watching. I, will hope you, I hope you will join me next time and as always, take care.